and welcome to another episode of I have no idea what I'm doing um, so yeah I'm gonna be testing this uh, high-speed gold bucket concentrator so how's that for a name uh, basically the whole idea is to see if this is faster than just panning see if we can keep the gold in the bucket um, shaking back and forth, taking the big stuff out, leaving the small stuff, and all the heavies. Um, I'll go through this just a second. First, I want to say, uh, my last video, I tried this. The shaking gold pan concentrator, uh, scoop pan, whatever you want to call it. Um, it worked pretty dang good. I had a gram of gold, I think, in here. Um, caught all but two tiny little specks in the last video. And I do want to thank everybody for your ideas and comments on this thing. Um, I think the general consensus was is that, yeah, it was a pretty good idea. It worked pretty dang good. Um, I had comments and suggestions like putting a hole in the back to let the water through, um, putting a screen over it uh, so you can classify it. Um, I don't know. There's a lot that could go on here. I'm um, putting handles on the side instead of the back. Um, the whole idea was not to do a whole bunch of material. That's where this comes in, but just to do concentrates or small amounts. Um, and it worked pretty dang good. So we'll see where this goes. Now to see if this idea works. Uh, let me tell you what I did. I didn't go all out. I just kind of threw it together. I want to see if it'll work at all. Um, I've got some. Let me grab this. I've got some dirt over here soaking. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. But so the high speed concentrator. What I'm thinking. So I just threw this together. I think the original idea was to have a removable uh, mat in it, um, do all kinds of things. But I decided just to test the idea before I put a whole bunch of time and money into mats and all that stuff. I figured let's just try the concept, see if it works. So I got a square bucket and I said I was, wasn't was sure whether to use a round bucket, square bucket. General consensus with everybody was square bucket would be better. So that's what we're trying. Um, in the last video and in the scoop over there, I used my new drop riffle V mat that I've been making with from the 3D printed molds with silicone. It worked great. So I thought with this one, I've got the uh, Lego mats, or the mats that I made using Legos rather, uh, with no color in them or anything. But I use these a lot and I'm not using them anymore. And they've caught quite a bit of gold for me. So I decided, why not? We'll just put them in here, see if the idea works. And then this mat down at the bottom is the very first one I ever made where I took uh, literally a skill saw, cut some grooves in a board, filled it with silicone. And yeah, they worked okay too. So anyway, this is what we're going to do. And just to see if the concept works and see how far it goes from here. Um, I didn't like the plastic handle on the top. So I just put a board across here. I think that'll be better. Cut a hole in the back and we'll see where it goes. Like I said, I got some dirt soaking over here. This is a six gallon bucket full of material and it is clay, nasty. Um, yeah, look at that. Just gross. It's got all kinds of roots and stuff. You know, if you guys follow my videos, you know that's what I run in the summertime. So we're going to add some gold to it and see if this thing works. Some gold in this dirt, but there's probably not going to be that much. We'll find out. But this is what I'm going to add to it. It is 1.004 grams, as close as I could get to a gram. Um, we're going to dump this in here. And I know you're going to think I'm absolutely crazy, but I know where it's at, so... I can always get it back. So anyway, there we go. Let me get set up here and we'll see if this thing works. Okay, I think you can see that. 
But we'll put this in the water. This is my crick. I'm going to try and make it as realistic as I can. Uh, everything froze around here now. so And it's a whopping 30, 35 degrees. But we're going to put in a shovel of dirt. And I know I'm going to get wet, but oh well. Now hopefully this will get rid of a lot of my junk. Back and forth. Keep it under the water. And the bigger stuff should go out. And the lighter material. rock in there get another scoop bigger rocks. We'll take it up so we can peek. All right. That's looking pretty good. I think. Got big old rip balls in here. to break those up. <laughs> I know I'm not keeping it under water all the time, but Big old scoop. Maybe not under the water is going to work so well, but lifting it up out of the water seems to help remove a lot of the bigger rocks. Granted, I know we're all concerned about surface tension and all that, but I don't know, you lift the gold pan out of the water, right? get the last little bit so that's what we ended up with I think I'll stop there 
and I think I'll just dump it in to the shaker pan here get it dumped into that and we'll classify it down even more and I'll be back first results are looking good um, I started washing this out with the garden hose just to rinse it out but I see gold there in that little pocket there I washed a bunch of it down but in this little pocket right there all along here all along back in here I'm seeing gold all over the place okay I got the bucket concentrator all cleaned out I decided to put water in this tub fresh water for the pan there well I sure got rid of a whole bunch of junk that's for sure and that's what we ended up with so we took a six gallon bucket and brought it down to like what seven eight cups maybe not much in there so think about this if this idea works you're standing in a creek or if you're gonna bring dirt home and run it um, why bring home a bunch of worthless dirt I mean I've got buckets and buckets of dirt in the shed that's mostly dirt and junk what if I would have spent five minutes because that's about what it took was about five minutes to go through this six gallon bucket and just filled up a bucket full of that I think I would gain a lot anyway just my thoughts so let me get this set up and we'll get it classified down even more see how much of that gold we did catch looks like there's going to be about four or five scoops here's the pan I did put some uh, jet dry in the water Agitate it. There we go. Getting rid of the big rocks. And we're almost to the end already. So I know someone's going to say, you use dirt with, a, with gold in it, so your results aren't really that great. Well, if you follow my videos, you know that I run about, what, 40 buckets in two days to get, what, a gram of gold maybe, sometimes two, sometimes a half a gram. So in one bucket, there ain't going to be that much. But look what I see, guys. I'm going to show this to you. Right, let me just get the camera over here. Wow. Look at this. Look at the gold in the back. Back here. That's all gold. That's gold. All over in here. The water's kind of distorting it in the light, but yeah full of gold back there and down here I don't see any I'll get my glasses on let's get this dumped into a pan we'll see what the results are gonna be all right can't help it I got some more dirt off we got gold all over in here look at all that sweet I can't help it so that's the gold we recovered after I panned it all down. I'm going to let this dry. We'll go in the house and weigh it up. Um, let me know what you think on this one. If I got roasted by gold, this is what I created with my 3D printer and then made a silicone mold out of. And this is going to be a nugget trap 
for the sluice box mats uh, right up by my header there because I noticed when I ran that gold last time on the uh, U-mat design for a cleanup sluice the bigger pieces ended up quite a ways down the mat that I don't want so I'm gonna be trying this out but what do you think about this in the bucket uh, uh, concentrator there what if the gold got into these and slid down into here and when you're rocking it back and forth it's got nowhere to go it can't go side to side chances are it's not going to go over the top but anyway then your gold wouldn't be moving around so anyway I'm going to be trying this out in my next video I believe see if the nugget trap works and then maybe I'll try some and put it in the bucket I don't know let me know what you think okay we're gonna let this dry we'll weigh it up and I'll give you my final thoughts well I will call that an absolute win 1.009 grams I wrote down on a piece of paper what I had weighed up when I put it in there 1.004 so we gained a little bit I mean I don't know if we lost a speck or two doing that but yeah I call that a win Alright, well that worked well for a first try. When you end up with more gold than you started with, I call that a win. Um, both of these are proven to be very effective for a couple tries. Try the second try on this, first try on this. So now I got to try and decide, you know, where I go from here. I think this is definitely worth pursuing. Um, to classify down material instead of using a regular classifier and just running all kinds of worthless dirt um, I don't know do I make it with a removable mat or just a stationary mat cut this down so it'll fit in a five gallon bucket to dump it out um, I'm not sure which is going to be more effective let me know what you think I appreciate all the comments um, I definitely think it's worth pursuing and going a little bit further so Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. All that good stuff. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Uh, what's next time? The nugget trap. Let's see how that thing works. See you later.